Hey, I'm Alex from GME Supply. We've discussed eye protection a few times in previous videos. If you'd like to hear us break down exactly what tests the lenses must pass to be ANSI Z87.1, ANSI Z87 Plus, and MIL PRF32432, you can check that out here. And if you want to learn more about what the different lens colors are designed for and how they fit, check out our safety glasses playlist here. But today, we're going to do a simulation of the test required for the safety glasses and goggles to meet the ANSI Z87.1 standards. It should be noted that this is strictly a demonstration and is by no means an exact replica of what an ANSI and ISO certified testing location would look like. To rate glasses, ANSI has developed four different tests. The first, dropping a one inch steel ball from 50 inches onto the lens. If the glasses pass this test, they are given the standard Z87.1 rating. For the glasses to get the Z87 Plus rating, they must also pass three additional tests. A quarter inch steel ball fired at six specific lens spots, the high mass impact test, and the penetration test. Today, our goal is to show you the importance of your safety glasses meeting the ANSI standard by simulating the Z87.1 high mass impact and penetration test. We'll be simulating these tests on four pairs of glasses, non-rated ANSI Z.1, ANSI Z87 Plus, and MIL PRF 32432. As stated earlier, this is by no way an exact representation of the ANSI test, and because it's a demonstration, we'll make minor adjustments to the tests to make the simulation more relevant to things that may happen on the job site. For example, on the first test, we'll substitute a one inch socket for the steel ball. This socket was dropped through a 50 inch PVC pipe onto each lens for each pair of glasses. As you can see, this test proves the Z87.1 stamp is an indicator of good but not great protection, as even our non-rated sunglasses pass the first phase of the simulation. To earn the Z87 Plus stamp, which is what qualifies them to be used in impact hazard areas, the glasses must pass three additional tests described earlier. Technically, this next test in the ANSI performance test is firing a quarter inch steel ball fired at approximately 150 feet per second. This is repeated at six different locations on the lens. We'll be skipping this test because unfortunately our studio is not equipped with a ballistic station. Instead, we'll move on to the high mass test. This is essentially dropping a 500 gram or just over a pound missile. In our case, this is an auger bit from 50 inches to test the lens's protection from common tools that may become falling hazards. For comparison, most hammers are between 453 and 623 grams or 16 to 22 ounces. from blowing straight through the lens of our non-rated glasses and puncturing the lens of the Z87.1 rated glasses to barely scratching the Z87 Plus and mil-spec glasses. The real difference can only be noticed by slowing down the footage frame by frame. The Z87 Plus and mil-spec lenses instantly divert the sharp bit off the lenses and away from the wearer's eyes. Now moving on to the penetration test where we will use a 1.56 ounce drill bit to test the spectacles for penetrative strength. You can see that one pair of glasses fared better than the rest, with only a couple of scratches after multiple rounds of each test. Unsurprisingly, these were the glasses with the mil-spec stamp, which means on top of the three tests, they were put through a ballistics test firing a 1.5 caliber projectile at the glasses at around 650 feet per second or 440 miles per hour at the lens. Even the Z87 Plus rated glasses are still functional, with slightly deeper scratches from the high-mass test. The Z87.1 glasses did break slightly along near the edge of the lens and the unrated glasses are now lensless with some impressive impact holes. Now that you have an idea of the type of protection offered by the Z87.1 standard, you can find the pair of safety glasses or goggles that's right for you. Click the link in the description to shop our entire collection of safety glasses and goggles. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and if you haven't already, head over to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn pages to learn more about why GB Supply are your gear experts. <laughs>